Hello, boys and girls, my name is C and welcome back to Baltilas Factorium. And today's episode, we will start off by uh, putting in uh, electronic smelting array for iron. Last time, uh, we did that for copper. And as you can see, it is working really nice. Um, let's actually see if we look at 10 hours and the copper. Yeah, you can see we are on an upward trend and uh, we have a solid baseline now of 900 uh, copper. Um, what is it per minute? So if we look at that, yeah, we are solid there and that should then also help uh, with the, the green circuits. Um, they are still a bit fluctuating. Um, but if we then also add the iron, you can see iron is also heavily fluctuating. So if we can get iron to be as stable as copper, uh, that should also help with the green circuits. And then we can move on to uh, uh, more advanced items like uh, plastic bars, red circuits, and uh, the blue science or military science. But uh, that's that's way ahead. So uh, let's let's first uh, do just a copy of this. over here um, so that's how it should be don't need those on that side and uh, I will build that up and uh, then we can see how to proceed from there. Now here again the same story. First sending the ore trains to the new smeltery and then let all the iron plates from the old smeltery shipped uh, out before we change those trains. I hope I have everything set up correctly. No, I haven't. Need to change here the plates as well. So that we do the thing properly. Now it should be good. Then Let's set up the iron ore train and then wait for the, the time where we can actually then do the iron plate train. So let's add that one here, iron ore delivery one, item count. Um, what is this, uh, 2000? And then the military two, empty cargo. And then we have the train fueling with the weight condition of five seconds. 
So... You go here. And promptly the wrong compared to there. So let's go back to here. Luckily you can easily test that on the on the first one. Um, we'll copy this one to that one. And I think we do have three iron ore trains. So uh, the last one is sitting there in the waiting bay. Let's go over there. And copy that. Right, and both unloading stations are full, uh, but eventually they will be emptied out. And all we have to do now is wait for all the iron ore from here to be smelted and loaded on trains. And then we can actually also redirect the trains uh, from uh, the uh, pickup of the iron plates. With our iron smelting now done, I think we can focus our attention on something else. And my thinking is we stick with the with the uh, uh, the idea here of uh, smelting and actually do uh, smelting for steel and we can do that in a similar fashion uh, where we first uh, deliver the ore smelt that into iron and then use that to smelt it into steel before uh, loading it onto a train and we will do that right next to here because why not so let's uh, clean out all those cliffs and there are a few more what and then we shall have which one do we need let's start with the empty one yeah that works and then we will have to figure out how to uh, place the rails uh, not the rails, the smelters, because uh, that will be a bit different than what we have for the iron smelting, because we have two furnaces um, next to each other. So there I'm thinking probably we want to uh, to have the first set um, going uh, right on top. So I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. Should we build that inside out? Meaning starting with the uh, with the unloading station, and uh, then add the missing pieces to it, or should we uh, 
uh, actually start with the topmost loading station and uh, work our way backwards. So I will figure that out and then we hopefully have a working steel smelting setup um, in the near future. As you can see, it's already working. We getting ore delivered. Uh, we are smelting it up into uh, steel. And it will be a while before our um, uh, train stops here get enabled. We need uh, four, f 600, 600 steel in the chests. It's not the fastest. And it's a bit awkward. You can see here at the top we have more space than here at the bottom. And that's why uh, here on this side the exit actually goes down here. So that's of course no good. And we have to see what we can do about that. Um, I think... You will just add another square here. And that should then enable the trains to leave down there and come back up at the uh, other side. And that should be good. Now well, let me put this square in. We have more cliffs there to get rid of. And probably we also want to have a bit more room down here. So that we can then do this properly. Now at this point we do not yet have a train that would need uh, steel. But that does not prevent us from have a waiting bay for that. So that's that copy over, but this will be steel plate, steel plate pickup. And then we can set up the train. Um, what we also might consider is changing the way we deal with the with the fuel loading because currently we have one coal train that just sits there and for the moment that's fine because the the train fueling that's the uh, only uh, place where we need coal but you can see this chest is full, this is empty. So what we will do here is add a second condition um, where we wait uh, 30 seconds um, before moving on. And I think that might be uh, even a good solution for other delivery trains um, because uh, they sometimes um, get stuck in a, in a situation uh, especially uh, here with uh, this one for example that one sits there a long time and if we try to figure out why that is, we see down here, we have a train that 
only has three iron plates loaded. They are not getting unloaded because uh, we have a bit of, a, of an imbalance here. So we should actually do that. And then have that basically on this train and on that train and on this train here. Right, those are all the fours for loading there. Um, and we do have a deadlock here, which can be solved. Just moving that way and maybe we should get rid of this signal there. Right? I mean for trains that only have one item uh, to unload it's not really an issue. However, as soon as we uh, are in a situation where we have multiple items loaded on the trains and the number of items are not equal, then that might be a problem. So I think here it would also make sense to have uh, that uh, as a separate option just to make prevent issues there um, from uh, going out of hand and we will probably find some more trains uh, where we can actually have that setup changed. But that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, steel and uh, iron upgrade. And uh, we will see what we can tackle next time. So until then, goodbye.